Um, so now I want to introduce uh, Harrison from the Black Lives Matter RI Pop. Thank you, everyone. I want to thank everyone that is coming out to uh, be here to support this cause. Um, we're at a critical point in our state, but our country's history. Um, yet again, we're at a crossroads in which this country, the state, this administration, we have to understand that black people, black and brown people, need to have an equitable way to get a vaccine, uh, specifically lower income families who have no transportation. We need to create transportation means for people to understand that the vaccine not only is safe, but is able to be accessible. And oftentimes we forget that the black and brown community has a distrust in the government due to the amount of racism and institutional structures that have held back black people, which has caused different disenfranchisement. So we not only need to advertise the fact that the vaccine is available to lower income families, but we need to make accessible that these places are near these communities in which transportation can be available for them. And as far as I'm concerned, if these transportations are not available to them, if these, if these vaccines are not accessible, then we are not going to be an efficient job as a state to be able to accurate, accurately depict and be able to have an equitable way of getting these vaccines out to the people who need it the most. Um, and I think it's important that we also stress the fact that all of us on this stage have an ability to connect to our communities and understand that it is safe because there is a distrust in the, in the community due to the fact that already we see that people are not getting vaccinated in black and brown communities. So I just want to thank everyone for, for coming out here, uh, the media as well as people behind me, and I'll take a step back. Thank you very much.